Marianne Bachmeyer. Marianne Bachmeyer, June 3, 1950 to September 17, 1996, was a West German woman who gained notoriety for her actions in the District Court of Lübeck in 1981. Bachmeyer shot and killed Klaus Grabowski, a man who was on trial for the rape and murder of her daughter, Anna, in an act of vigilantism. Her actions ignited significant media attention and public debate. In the court of law, Bachmeyer was convicted of manslaughter and unlawful possession of a firearm. She received a six-year prison sentence but was released on bail after serving three years. Bachmeyer later moved abroad but returned to Germany after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. She passed away at the age of 46 and was laid to rest beside her daughter, Anna, in Bergtor Cemetery, Lübeck. Youth and Family Marianne Bachmeyer, born on June 3, 1950, grew up in Sarstedt, a small town near Hildesheim, Lower Saxony, West Germany. Her parents had fled from East Prussia after World War II, seeking refuge in the West. Marianne's upbringing was in a conservative household with devoutly religious parents. Her father, who had been a member of the Waffen-SS, was an authoritarian figure known for heavy drinking and aggression, often spending time at a local bar. Her parents' turbulent marriage eventually led to divorce, and her mother remarried. Marianne's relationship with her stepfather was marked by conflict, and her mother ultimately expelled her from the family home. At the young age of 16, in 1966, Marianne had her first child, whom she placed for adoption. She became pregnant again at 18 and was raped shortly before giving birth to her second child, whom she also placed for adoption. In 1972, at the age of 22, Marianne began dating the manager of Tipesa, a pub where they both worked. She became pregnant for the third time and gave birth to her third child, Anna, on November 14, 1972. Raising Anna as a single mother, Marianne brought her to work at the pub, often leaving her there while she worked late into the night. Two documentary films from 1984, No Time for Tears, The Bachmeyer Case and Anna's Mother, portrayed Marianne as a single mother who maintained late working hours and frequently left her seven-year-old daughter alone during the day. Acknowledging her own troubled lifestyle, Marianne contemplated putting Anna up for adoption. Friends noted that she treated Anna as a little adult, expecting her to handle many responsibilities from a young age. Anna often slept in the bar as her mother socialized, resulting in an upbringing that lacked stability and a nurturing family life. Murder of her daughter On May 5, 1980, when Anna was seven years old, she had an argument with her mother and decided to skip school. On this day, she was abducted by Klaus Grabowski, a 35-year-old butcher whom she had previously visited to play with his cats. Grabowski held Anna for several hours, sexually assaulted her, and tragically strangled her with a pair of his fiancé's tights. Subsequently, he bound her and placed her in a box, which he left on the shore of a canal. Grabowski's fiancé ultimately reported him to the police. Klaus Grabowski had a history as a convicted sex offender, with prior sentences for sexually abusing two girls. In 1976, he voluntarily underwent chemical castration, although it was later revealed that he had pursued hormone treatment to reverse the effects of castration. Following his arrest, Grabowski claimed that he killed Anna because he feared she would disclose his abuse to extort money from him, which he believed would result in his return to prison. This tragic incident left a lasting impact on Marianne Bachmeyer's life. Vigilante Justice in the Courtroom On 6 March 1981, during the third day of Klaus Grabowski's trial, at approximately 10 a.m., Marianne Bachmeyer secretly smuggled a Beretta 70 pistol into the courtroom of Lübeck District Court, room 157, and fatally shot Grabowski. She directed her gun at his back and fired seven times, with six bullets striking Grabowski, leading to his almost instant death. Bachmeyer surrendered herself without resistance after the shooting. Public reaction This incident stands as one of the most prominent cases of vigilante justice in West German history. It triggered extensive media coverage, with television crews from across the country and abroad traveling to Lübeck to report on the case. Bachmeyer sold her life story to the news magazine Stern for about 100,000 Deutsche Marks, using the fee to cover her legal expenses. While Bachmeyer was held in custody, she received numerous messages of support, gifts, and flowers, indicating understanding of her actions. However, not everyone supported her actions, with some believing that a constitutional state should not condone vigilante justice. Furthermore, public opinion shifted when details of her first two children and her father's connection to the SS came to light. 
Despite the controversy, many individuals continued to express compassion for her retaliatory act. Criticism was directed at the West German judiciary for allowing a man who had previously sexually abused girls to undergo hormone treatment to regain his libido. Sentence for manslaughter. Initially charged with murder on November 2, 1982, Bachmeier was later convicted of manslaughter and unlawful possession of a firearm. She received a six-year prison sentence but was released after serving three. The defense's argument that the act was not premeditated played a significant role in the court's decision. Moving abroad. In 1985, Bachmeier married a teacher, and the couple relocated to Accra, Ghana, where her husband taught at a German school in a German camp. However, their marriage ended in divorce in 1990. Bachmeier then moved to Sicily and worked as a euthanasia aide in a hospice in Palermo. It was in Sicily that she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which led her to return to Germany. Subsequent public coverage. In 1994, 13 years after the shooting, Bachmeier gave an interview to the Deutschland Funk radio station. Her autobiography was published by the German publisher Schneekle Verlag the same year. During an appearance on the television talk show Fleege in 1995, she openly admitted to the shooting and her intention to enforce the law to prevent Grabowski from spreading lies about Anna. In a 2006 ARD documentary, a former friend of Bachmeier claimed that she had rehearsed the shooting in the basement under Tipesa after Anna's murder. Bachmeier, however, never expressed remorse for her act of vengeance. Death. Marianne Bachmeier passed away on 17 September 1996 at the age of 46 due to pancreatic cancer in a hospital in Lübeck. She was laid to rest alongside her daughter, Anna, in Bergtor Cemetery, Lübeck. In popular culture, theatrical plays, such as This Is For You, Anna, were inspired by Marianne Bachmeier's life. Several films, including Anna's Mother and No Time For Tears, The Bachmeier Case, were made about the case. Documentaries, like Vigilante Justice of a Mother, The Case of Marianne Bachmeier, explored her story. Marianne Bachmeier's autobiography, Palermo, Amore Mio, was published in 1994.